In Kenya, kimbo is a popular cooking fat. But do you know that it has its origins in World War II which ran between 1939 and 1945? Shortly after the war erupted, a factory was opened in Nairobi's industrial area to manufacture a wide range of products for the military. These products included cooking oil, insecticides, pottery, caustic soda, ceramics and fire bricks, previously imported from Europe. But there was no shipping space, and any space available was preserved for other wartime purposes such as arms and army personnel. The factory that emerged was known as Kenya Industrial Management Board and all its products were being sold below the production price. But since Kimbo, the acronym of the company, was not a profit-making entity, it continued to roll out its products until the war ended. After that, a decision had to be made on what to do with this factory, then considered a worthwhile investment. That is when the most promising product lines were spared while the others were discontinued. One of the most outstanding product was a cooking fat which was named Kimbo, as a reminder the military factory, Kenya Industrial Management Board. The Industrial Management Board then looked for a partner and picked the Colonial Development Corporation, which had been set up by an act of parliament to help the process of industrial development in British colonies. But in 1949, an agreement was signed by which a new company, East African Industries was formed to take over the assets, liabilities and business of the Industrial Management Board. In 1953, East African Industries then invited Unilever, to help it build a formidable company. It concentrated on edible oils with Kimbo becoming one of the flagship products. East African Industries later introduced soaps and detergents, and rose to become one of the most versatile companies in the 1970s, 1980s and early 1990s when its dominance was challenged by new entrants, such as Bidco. Soon, Kimbo lost its place to new products, which included Kasuku. As competition increased, the East African industries changed its name to Unilever which concentrated on soaps and detergents. The cooking fat products such as Kimbo and Cowboy, by then household names, were sold to Thicker's Bidco Company while Blue Band Margarine was sold to Upfield Kenya Limited. So much for a World War II military company whose products dominated the Kenyan market. For more of such stories, subscribe to our History Works TV channel.